Oh, there you are, YouTube. Do, 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 do. Subscribe if you're interested. Hey, let's do a random ranking today. We're sort of getting back into the groove of random rankings. It took, you know, some time off due to the holidays. Not time off of YouTube, but time off of random rankings. But let's get back into them. Basically, what a random ranking is, is I go to my movie collection behind me and pick out three movies at random and then rank those movies based on whatever criteria I come up with. I rank them here in the video, and if you'd like to rank them in the comments below, please feel free to do so. But let's Let's get to picking some movies. I feel like we've had some good ones lately. Oh, I already know what this one is. I wasn't looking at it, but by the sheer size of it, I know what I'm looking at. Um, or I know what I know what it is. Okay, three movies at random. I have no clue what I am choosing except for that one because I know the shape of the box. All right, here we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. So that first one was. American Gangster. Here's the thing. If you have a, if you're making movie shelves and you own American Gangster, you always want to make sure you have a little bit of extra room because this is a taller piece of physical media. Do you see that? See, whoops. See, there's the base. So you see how much is showing there? That's a, that's a mistake I've made before back, you know, early days of when I got this. So we got the three disc collector's edition right here. We got Denzel and Russell Crowe, um, inspired by a true story. I always like this movie. Ooh, look at that beautiful ribbon right here to pull the film out. I always like this movie um, because I like Denzel's character's wisdom. Um, he has that like saying or whatever I'm, I'm probably gonna butcher this but the saying is like you know don't be noisy don't be loud don't be flashy or something like that um, you know live large in a quiet way don't live large in a loud way I don't know there's he puts it much more eloquently than I am but um, I love that because there's this moment when he starts getting a little flashy and then it like backfires. Is that right? I mean, it's been a while since I've seen it. It happens to him, right? Doesn't he buy like a fur coat or something? And then like he gets caught and like he always had this wisdom like, you know, you don't, you don't want to show your money, your power, all of that. I think in the movie, um, if you've ever seen Terms of Endearment, uh, John Lithgow says something similar. He says, I, I can't remember now. He either says Iowa poor or Iowa rich. I can't remember. Maybe he just says Iowa farmer or something like that. Basically, you are a wealthy farmer, but you always talk about how you're struggling, you know, um, or how, how poor your farm is doing or, you know, the negative things like, uh, crops not coming up that, that well, but you're, you're living life pretty well. You're not being flashy. I don't know. I'm just trying to say I like all of that. Because um, I've always said, and my one of my friends, he never understood this. I said, if I were like a millionaire and could afford the fastest car, you know, allowed on the streets, I would have it. I would I would buy it, but I would I would just drive it like a normal car, just like a normal car. And then if somebody's at a stoplight with me and then they're revving their engine, I would just go on with my business and drive. And he was like, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you race them? You have to race them. And I was like, I don't know, because I know I have the fastest car. That's it. I don't have to show it. I don't have to show that I have the fastest car because I know I have the fastest car. And I feel like that is what uh, Denzel was saying in this movie. And I always thought that was cool. Um, anyway, yeah, good movie here. Um, what else do I want to say? Anything else? Um... Oh, Ridley Scott. Yeah. Ridley Scott movie. But yeah, good film. Next we have End of Days. Uh, basically the apocalypse sort of thing. Um, like Satan's involved. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just one of those Arnold movies that were not from the 80s. I don't even know if this was... Was this 90s? This probably was 90s. Or had we hit 2000? Oh, it says Limp Bizkit is a part of the uh, soundtrack, which could mean 99, 2000, somewhere around there. 
Um, when did I start listening to Limp Biscuit? Why don't they just give you the year really big on the back? They never... It always takes me so long to find... 99. Yeah, so 99. Um, but yeah, you know, I like this movie. I think I showed this one to my wife, pretty sure. Either this one or The Sixth Day. That's sort of weird. Those two movies aren't, like, related to one another. But for some reason, I always, like, think of the two of them. As, maybe they came out around the same time or something. But End of Days and The Sixth Day, I'm always thinking. Maybe it's because the word day is there. I don't know. And I think they were made near each other. Next, we have the Darjeeling Limited. This is actually one of the Wes Anderson movies that I am not that big of a fan of. Um, although, one of the watchings I did have, like, I've seen this many times. I'd put it on as a background movie, but it's not like... I. When it comes to Wes Anderson, this one's very low on my list. But the most one of the most recent times I watched it, there's a very sad scene in it involving, like, a running river. And... I just like started crying during it and I was like oh I've never responded to this movie this way so I think it's probably growing on me but it still doesn't you know I, I would still put it pretty low when I'm ranking all of Wes Anderson's movies this one doesn't um, hit too high but I did have a very strong emotional response to it the last time I watched it so how do we rank these movies I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go American Gangster um, just because of Denzel's wisdom there. And then, uh, End of Days, because it's a fun Arnold movie, and then Darjeeling Limited at the end. Again, this Wes Anderson film is pretty low on my list. It's one of the few that I just had, like, no real strong connection to. Like, I just, I don't know, I just never really hit with me or clicked, but... That one scene, my most recent watch, really did. But it doesn't do much to make it win this battle right here. So again, my ranking is American Gangster, End of Days, and The Darjeeling Limited. So my question to you is, have you seen these movies? And if so, what do you think of them? And if you've seen all three, how would you rank them? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.